Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another box office wrap up video. As you know, it's Sunday, so we gotta do it. Um, and this weekend was a big one because my most anticipated movie, I think of pretty much this entire year, or I would say maybe the first half of the year at least, uh, was Incredibles 2 and it finally came out and I have yet to fucking see it. I've been busy, okay, and I wanted to see it Friday. I wanted to see it Thursday, but I never got a chance to. Friday, I went to the theater with my family, and we got there way too late, even though I told them we need to get there early. I'll let that go, whatever. And, of course, we got there way too late. It was like 15 minutes before it started, and tickets were sold out. You know, nobody believes me and my family. We need to get there a little early before I see the movie. I didn't care. And they went to go home to play Fortnite. I didn't give a shit. But, uh, of course, me sitting there going, shit, you want by myself? I should have. There was two tickets left. I could have wanted to go uh, go see it by myself, but I didn't. And Saturday and Sunday, I was busy. Uh, today, I was I was busy, so I didn't get a chance to. So hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, I get to see this movie. I, I wanna, I wanna so bad. So let's get to the box office. Uh, of course, Incredibles two one. What the fuck else came out this weekend? Tag, you know, Ocean's eight second week. <laughs> like, what else is gonna win? But how big did it open? It opened big. <laughs> Let me just say, it opened huge. I was expecting like 140 to 150 million. You know, it's a, I mean, it's a Pixar movie. That's good. And, you know, it's a great opening for an animated movie. That's still the biggest opening for any animated movie of all time. Finding Dory was the, the, the first biggest one uh, with 130 whatever. So if it opened 140 to 150, that right there, bam, nailed it, boys. This movie opened up to, I guess I'll just show the box office numbers here. My God. Holy shit. This movie opened up to $180 million. That is not only higher than Finding Dory by almost $50 million, but that is higher than stuff like Captain America Civil War, Batman v Superman, Iron Man 3. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Uh, um, what else? Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of other superhero movies. The Dark Knight 1 and 2. Dark Knight 1. <laughs> Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Batman Begins, but you know, that didn't do so well when it first came out. So that's not a big surprise. Let me, let me see. Anything else? Uh, uh, it did better than Tag. You know? it, that is incredible. That's a huge opening huge is huge and i'm so happy to see that because that means not only is that proof that superhero fatigue is not a thing right now but that is also proof of how much people love that original incredibles and how much people love pixar because when they see pixar they know oh, that's this quality okay even coco which was a huge gamble I would say, you know, considering what it was about, uh, that did extremely well. I mean, it didn't do huge, it didn't do you know, 180 million, but um, you know what? It made sense. It made sense how much that movie made, and it's making making sense how much this movie makes, really, if you think about it. Because superhero movies are huge. Avengers opened biggest opening of all time. Uh, this is the biggest opening of all time for a, a animated feature. Um, so it makes sense that a superhero movie like this, um, following or not following, I'm sorry, uh, which is a sequel to one of the most acclaimed animated movies of all time. It just makes perfect sense. So Incredibles 2 opens up to $180 million. You know what? Should have predicted it. Should've, it just makes sense. Should have opened higher, to be honest. This is actually disappointing. <laughs> this should have this done better. Um, and it also opened up to, um, I think, a few markets. I don't think a lot of markets, but like some. Usually animated movies like this, especially Pixar, they don't open up everywhere um, when it comes to foreign markets. So it made $51 million this weekend there. Straight up, it's already made its budget back, that's for sure. I think the budget was, uh, what, like $180 million or something like that? Close to 200 I think. Wow. I mean, we've been waiting for this freaking movie, baby. 14 years since the last movie. And you know what? I think I'm going to watch Incredibles 1 again tonight. I actually watched it again like a few months ago after the first trailer came out for Incredibles uh, 2. And I think I'm going to watch it again tonight in 4K, baby. It's going to look good. Um... And you know, I'm going to be happy to be able to see this movie in a decent theater. Because the only way I was ever going to be able to see this movie is if I paid for my ticket ahead of time. Which would have been like like $18 after um, getting 
my ticket and also getting charged tax and also the con- like the convenience price, it would have been like seventeen fifty, which is fucking nuts. My theater is fourteen dollars and eighty five cents now. Are you fucking kidding me? And then like a two dollar convenience thing and then tax, tax. Are you kidding for a movie ticket? Maybe they don't charge tax. Maybe I'm just talking about out my ass. But um, fuck. That's ridiculous, especially since I have movie pass right there. So I could have only saw it in either a shitty theater or if I got fucking lucky in one of the theaters just didn't sell out. Or I wait until the weekday. The weekday, you know, kids will be in school. I could go see it at like 4 o'clock, you know. Kids are just getting home. They don't want to go see a movie at 4 o'clock. So I could probably go see it at 4, maybe even earlier. Uh, I, not that I don't want a crowd. Of course, I, I, I like you know having a lot of people there. Maybe not a lot of kids. That's kind of fucking annoying. But, um... You know, a, a, a lot of like-minded individuals like me. That's fine. By the way, Incredibles 2 opened up huge. Amazing. It's it's going to hold extremely well, too, because it's Pixar. Pixar usually holds extremely well. Uh, and next week, even though we have Jurassic World, I, that one will be more for, you know, older kids, where this could be for younger kids. It was actually perfect timing for this to come out, because even Jurassic World, when that comes out, which will do huge, of course, uh, this movie just has more appeal for everybody. You know, even... Grown-ups like me, you know, big fat losers like me could go see Incredibles 2 and don't, you know, don't feel weird about it, you know? Incredibles 1 was so good. Oh, it was, oh, it was so good. It was so good. I love that movie. Um, so, Incredibles 2, I'm happy. And, and this just makes it seem like we're definitely going to be getting that Incredibles 3. Hopefully, Brad Bird decides, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, because Incredibles 1, I think we would have got Incredibles 2 much earlier if Brad Bird just came up with a story that he really liked ahead of time. But, uh... He never did, I guess. He went to do shit like Tomorrowland. Which I actually kind of like. That movie has grown on me. Anyway, and, and of course he did Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I mean, not Rogue Nation. Um, uh, Ghost Protocol, which was great. Um, so anyway, number two was Ocean's 8. Dropped 53% in the second weekend, which is pretty damn good. $19.5 million. You know, very solid uh, hold right there. Made almost $80 million so far in two weeks. So will probably stay around... Stay around long enough to gross around $120, $130 million, which is really good, especially for a $70 million movie. I'm sure it'll also do well enough foreign-wise where this will be considered a pretty good success and we might get a sequel. Uh, number and People really like it too, so I wouldn't be surprised if a sequel comes out and people like that one too. Uh, number three, Tag, $14.6 million for this one. That actually opened up higher than I thought. I did do like around 11 to $12 million. So I did 14.6. Not too bad. It only cost $28 million. Also, a lot of people were a little weirded out by the whole concept of it where it's just a bunch of people playing tag. like uh, And they learn lessons or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen it. I will watch it this week, though. Uh, number four is Solo, a Star Wars story. Dropped about, what, like 50% or some shit? <laughs> it's dropping, man. That, that fucking poor movie. I feel so bad for it. I actually only dropped 42% this time. Um, it will get over $200 million. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be one of the biggest bombs this year. Like, I can't think of anything else that would be a huge, as huge of a bomb. I don't know, maybe like, I can't even think, like, I don't know, Pacific Rim? How big of a bomb was that? You know? Even that kind of, like, almost doubled its budget. This one's not even going to get close to doubling its budget. Like, the budget was $250 million. It has made how much? It has made $339 million. That's not even close. You have to get $500 million to double your budget. That's not even close. And the movie's dying out quick. It's probably not even going to get to, like, $370 million. I can't believe that. I really can't believe this movie, compared to stuff like Rogue One, is going to do... Almost a third of what that movie did. I can't believe that. Especially when it is... I mean, Star Wars, sure, isn't as loved as it once was. <laughs> That's for sure. A lot of people are hating on it. Especially a lot of you know, big YouTubers that want to get a lot of views. Just, you know, because they want to get a lot of views and talk about how shitty it was. Um, not point fingers. Just saying. Uh, you know, people that probably liked it the first time, but then saw people don't like it. So they want to just, like, talk about how they didn't like it now. So... You know, they get views. Not pointing fingers. You know who you are. You're not watching this video anyway. Fucking assholes. Anyway, number five is Deadpool 2. 8.8 .8 million uh, by next weekend. I'm sure Deadpool 2 will be grossing more than Solo. Just confirming that right there. I think that has pi passed uh, 300 million at this point, right? I think so. Nope. Uh, six a million. Six a million. Six million away from getting to 300. Uh, that movie has done incredibly well. Almost $700 million. And we'll definitely be seeing more of Deadpool and X-Force. And maybe Deadpool 3. I guess we'll see. 
<clears throat> All right, so Hereditary is number six. That did extremely well in its first weekend. It actually didn't drop too bad, only 48%. That's that's pretty good considering this movie got a like a D minus uh, or D plus cinema score. Um, and it's a horror movie too. Usually horror movies drop pretty bad in their second weekend. But there's also not really any other horror movies out. So, you know, a lot of people don't have many choices if they want to get scared. Um, and I have yet to see this one either because last week I was busy with E3 and all this shit. And the chances I had to go see it, I was tired. So, I don't, you know, it was a, light, a long movie. So I think I'm going to have a weird ass double feature <laughs> of Incredibles and Her Hereditary. Um, we'll see. Maybe on Tuesday I'll see Hereditary and Tag. And tomorrow I'll see Incredibles too. I think that makes more sense. Not that Tag and... Maybe I'll see Superfly. Anyway, number seven is Superfly. Six point three million for that movie. It's a remake of, of course, a old black exploitation film that starred Rudy Rudy Ray Moore, right? Which I think isn't Eddie Murphy about to play him in a movie. Um, Superfly. Superfly, nineteen seventy two. I want to make sure that's Rudy Ray Moore. Uh, yeah, Rudy Ray Moore, right? I think so. The Return of Superfly. Is it? Really it's not Rudy Raymore. See, I'm retarded. Um, I'm an idiot. Look at me. I'm stupid. But um, I, I never saw Superfly. I watch a lot of Rudy Raymore black exploitation movies because those are hilarious. But uh, Superfly I never actually saw. And I actually heard this remake isn't too bad. It has like a 55% of Rotten Tomatoes, which considering it's a remake of a black exploitation film, that's not too bad. Uh, it looked It looked pretty mediocre from the trailers. Like, it's taking itself way too seriously. But I don't know if the original took itself too seriously. Because a lot of people think black exploitation movies are just all comedies because of Rudy Ray Moore. But a lot of them were actually overly serious. A lot of them were. They, they were actually trying to be real movies. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Superfly was actually one of those. Uh, number eight was Avengers Infinity War. Of course, last week it passed two point... I mean, two point, yeah. Two point zero billion dollars. And this weekend it has grossed over... Six hundred and sixty-four million dollars American, and over overall, it has grossed two point zero one nine billion dollars uh, worldwide. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. By the way, did I mention that? Wait, hold the fuck on. What's going on here? I just realized. What? What the fuck? Wait, oh, I just I I copied this thing from Box Office Mojo and put it on here, and I just realized what the fuck is a wrinkle in time doing in the top thirteen? That, that can't be true. That can't be right. It added eighty eight theaters. So what? Who do who do gives a fuck? What does that have to do with anything? Did Oprah tell everybody to go see the movie or some shit? Wrinkle in time. What the fuck? It's out on Blu Ray and shit. Why the fuck did this movie? What the fuck? Huh? I'm so confused. Why is that in the top 13? It's been out for fucking almost four months. Why is that movie in the top... Especially since that movie sucked ass. So why is that in the top 13? It has grossed over $100 million, by the way. I know I'm jumping the gun here, but I just realized that. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> Avengers only dropped 26% this weekend. And it lost 700 theaters, so that's really good. People still want to see Avengers. I, I, I don't remember the guy's name, but there's a new story about a guy that went to go see Avengers Infinity War 50 times, and he's trying to get to triple digits. Digits, Sorry, again, I can't speak. I had like four hours of sleep today. And yesterday. I had no fucking sleep in the last 20 fucking four hours. Sorry, I'm cursing a lot. Um, but that's crazy. That guy saw it over 50 times already. It's been out for only, what, like a little less than two months? Like, Jesus. If he wants to get to that 100, he better hurry up, boy. That, might, that theater might be leaving that movie. That theater. God damn it. That movie is about to leave theaters, I'd say, in the next month or so. So he has to get back. He has to get on it. You only have a month left. You got to watch it 50 more times, baby. Um, Adrift is number nine. 2.1 million. Damn, that dropped hard. 60% this weekend. No one wants to see that movie. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Don't care. Sorry. Number 10, Book Club. It's still there. Um, it actually dropped pretty big. It lost uh, over a thousand theaters, um, but sixty-two million dollars—that's pretty good for a movie. Uh, probably cost like I don't know, twelve bucks to make. Number eleven is *A Wrinkle in Time*, like I said, which I—I I don't know how. It only added eighty-eight theaters. That's it. Only eighty-eight. So how the fuck? I want to know. Did did Oprah sing like everybody go out to the theater? 
do it! I'll fucking kill you! Like, what What happened? Why? That can't be right. Maybe that's not right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's not right. Hold on. Why? It, it, okay. No, no one's talking about this. That has to be... That has to be wrong. Nobody's talking about this. No no news articles about, like, what the fuck is going on with Wrinkle in Time. Hold on. Okay, okay. What? Okay, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's an article. I saw an article that said Disney should offer a Black Panther slash Wrinkle in Time double feature. For some reason, I read that as there was already a double feature, and that's why <laughs> it grossed. You know what? That's another... That's one thing. If, if, if there was something where it was like a special thing, go see A Wrinkle in Time in theaters, that's bullshit because fuck A Wrinkle in Time. Who gives a shit? They should do that for Black Panther. It is so close to getting $700 million worldwide. Not worldwide. Uh, it's already way past that. But domestically, it's like, it is so close. I can't believe how close it is. How close is it? Where, where's Black Panther? Oh, Black Panther is number 26. It is only $385,000 away so if anything deserves another million dollars, it's friggin' Black Panther, which was a great film, where A Wrinkle in Time was a boring, pretentious piece of shit that it was just like, hey, you know, enjoy enjoy yourself or whatever, like whatever the fuck Ava DuVernay said, which is bullshit, a fucking terrible movie. Again, I'm sorry, I'm really that fucking really tired. It really wasn't pretentious. I was just, I'm just saying words. Uh, number twelve, Gotti. That's that. John Travolta piece of shit movie about Gotti Gotti boy. <laughs> oh Gotti boy, your movie's flopping. Bye. Number thirteen, Race Three, which is a Bollywood movie. Came out came out in 310, 15 theaters. Whatever. It made a lot of money for a Bollywood movie. So that's the top thirteen. That's the only reason why I put thirteen here is because of Gotti and Race Three. I didn't even realize we weren't going time until. <laughs> until i realized it so there you go uh incredibles 2 did amazing a wrinkle in time i think that's a glitch i think um i think that's fucked up i don't think box office mojo meant to do that but who knows maybe it did do extremely well for some fucked up reason who knows i don't know um but there you go maybe disney was doing a special thing go see it and we'll give you money or so that's the only reason why i'd see if if they gave me money to go see it again oh <sighs> There you go. Uh, is there anything else I want to say? Oh, shit. I, I forgot. Sorry. I, I was tired. Uh, I forgot to do this. <laughs> I made a poll. There's the poll. And here it is. Um, for Incredibles 2. Asking everybody how much you think the movie's going to make. And, of course, you know, I thought I was going to do, like... A lot of projections said around 100 to $150 million. So, I that's what I pretty much asked you guys. Do you think it's going to make any of these? And actually made more than that. By the way, 914 votes. Holy shit. Thank you everybody that voted. That was really cool. I got eight comments too. We'll look at those in a second. But uh, most people actually voted for 130 to 149 million. No one was fucking around here. No one voted for the stupid funny one. Incredible. Screw that. I'm seeing Superfly. I don't think a lot of people knew what Superfly was too. <laughs> I have a feeling. I was going to say Tag. But uh, I think there was actually people that were looking forward to that. So I don't want to do that. Um... <laughs> the wind cracking. Uh, Samuel Jackson has confirmed that Frozen will say motherfucker approximately 187 times in this movie. So if that doesn't sell a ticket, I don't know what will. <laughs> 100, 109 mil. The fuck is Superfly exactly? Yeah. Um, I can only find one screen with the English dub here in Chile. It wasn't cheap. Please, no disappoint, please. I hope it doesn't. Uh, unless he's talking about Superfly. I don't know. Uh, you know, Pixar, what did you expect? <laughs> Who would pick Superfly over the Incredibles? I don't know. Weird people. God, God, Superfly looks awful. Anyway, Incredibles is gonna kick ass at box office. Yeah, it did. And you're right. Uh, no reason, but you should. Uh, no reason, but you should put Incredibles. Fuck that. I'm seeing tag, not Superfly, because the trailer fucking suck. I'm glad that this African American piece of shit didn't release in D-Box. Damn. All right. All eyes on me is better than this. Ooh. Damn. I gave that love. Alright, well, <laughs> I don't think I read it. I don't know. That's weird. God damn, I keep clicking on shit. Fuck. I'm popping everything up. Anyway, Mr. Pencil Productions, it's going to break a record. First time, for, uh, first film in years to make $5 billion on opening night. 
It's a lot of money. All right, all right, there you go. I just wanted to add that there because I felt bad that I didn't. Because I ended the video. I was like, oh, shit, wait, hold on. Go back. I got to do that. Anyway, there you go. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.